Hello everybody, how are you doing my beautiful Fumi stars? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are passing by for the very first time, welcome. So happy to have you here. Yes, darlings. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my wonderful niece, Fainty, Crafty Unicorn. I'm going to put all of the details there. And this episode is going to be all about will I buy it, should I buy it? We're going to dig right in. And we are going in with the Bounce Foundation by Beauty Blender. Hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm going to tell you? How can a brand get it so right in one department? Sorry, it's dirty. <laughs> in one department and get it so wrong in the other. Beauty Blender came out with a foundation, the Bounce Foundation, retailing for $40. Unfortunately, they did not have a wide range. I do not see my shade. I would have bought this foundation because I've heard good things about it. It is very forward thinking. It has a groove on one side of the foundation bottle where you can pour out the foundation and you can use your beauty blender just to bounce and then put it up on your face, which I think is genius because I'm forever using the back of my hand every time when I want to apply my foundation, especially when I want to do like the cream highlighter underneath my eyes. So I was so excited. I wanted to buy this, absolutely but they just didn't have my shade. They had 50 shades of beige. And then when it got down to the deeper tones, they skipped. So let us say they skipped where they'll go from like a one to a four to a seven to an 11. And all of those numbers in between, they didn't have. And so unfortunately, I will have to pass. Beauty Blender, I hope you can review this and go back in and fill up all of those gaps, all of those steps, okay? And perhaps we can review your product. So that is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. Then we're going to go to I Love Sahari collaboration with Dose of Colors. I love her, I think she's so adorable, she's so sweet. So she came out with an eyeshadow palette, she came out with two highlighters, she came out with four lipsticks, as well as two lip glosses. Will I get it? Not the entire collection. Love the palette. I love that sea foam glitter green and the black and the neutrals speaking to me. I can work with that. As for the highlighters too light, as for the lip glosses already have those colors. Congratulations to you. I am supporting you absolutely Ala Sahari and I actually do like the palette. Yeah? Alrighty. Beauty Bakery, hello sunshine. Beauty Bakery came out with our Cake Mix Demi Matte Foundation. Darlings, guess what? It comes out in 59 shades. With the deeper shade being number one. I loved that, I really did. When it comes to foundations, they always start with the lightest. I will absolutely get it. I'm so excited to try their formula, see how it sits on the skin. And of course, when I do get it, I will do a tutorial for you guys. Okay, okay. Kim Kardashian has come out with a palette, a neutral palette, four lipsticks and pencils. I'm gonna pass. Love you, Kimmy. Love, 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 love you. I just don't see any jazz in this. I just don't see it. It's the classic collection. It's a summer collection. And there's nothing that is speaking to me about this collection. Absolutely nothing. You know it's going to be a bit pricey. You know her minimalist presentation. I think it's nice. It just doesn't wow me. So I just have to pass. Keeping up with the Kardashian Jenner sisters, Kylie also came out with a summer collection and the packaging was all yellow and oranges with the bananas, but no yellow. Did I like the palette? I've got colors like this, so I'm going to pass. Having said that, I did dig her lipsticks. Her orange lipstick is called Tangerine, yes. And then she has like a beautiful fuchsia pink called Vicky. 
loved that as well and i'm wearing an orange today i love bright colors it just makes me really really super happy she also came out with a whole bunch of uh liquid lipsticks i'm going to pass on those i love her stuff but i find myself only liking certain key pieces stella has come out with six new vivid and vibrant shades of the shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadows retailing for 24 each gorgeous you have that sapphire blue you have that emerald green you have a purple you have a ruby you have a silver you have a gold off the bat the emerald and the sapphire it's a must gorgeous can you just imagine having this right on the ball of the eye everything so stella congratulations i got a whole bunch of their colors which i already love and i think that this is their winning ticket because nobody's doing anything like this and because it has an applicator a doffer should i say where you can apply the glitter it minimizes the mess the color is pigmented and it stays on all day so yeah i'm gonna get that Alrighty, so last but not least is L'Oreal in collaboration with Camila Cabello and she came out with a whole range of little goodies with liners, gold highlighters, eyeshadows as well as lip glosses. I'll tell you this, I love the packaging, it's so happy, it's so Havana. I love the doffer for the lip glosses and I will get all of the lip glosses. I think that it is super, super cute. I love that mint Tiffany green. It is just really pretty when it comes with the packaging. Is it avant-garde? Is it something new? Is there anything here where you haven't seen before? No, it's just really cute. It's really pretty. And I tell you this, I would buy the lip glosses for my nieces as well as myself. <laughs> As well as my mom i like the packaging i think it's bomb yeah i do so that is it darlings until then have fun enjoy yourselves treat yourselves spoil yourselves and i'll see you soon Ula, my love say goodbye goodbye, goodbye darlings i'll see you soon circles for so long I never really understood what I did wrong I was trying hard to 